Hello, so in this video I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to diagnose and potentially solve um, error codes E8 and E0 on your Lydia air source heat pump. Um, so E8 is uh, a flow error and then E0 is a repeat of the E8 happening three times within the space of one hour. So they're all related to flow related issues. Uh, most common is obviously not enough flow, which would be um, the majority of the time is caused by dirt and filters or air in the system. So the first thing I'd always check is um, things like system pressure. If the system pressure is dropped, then I need to open up to at least 1.5 bar. And then I'd also give any and all filters on the system really good clean just to make sure that they are clean and clear. Now I'm going to show you how to check flow rate on the remote controller. Alright, so once the circulation pump is kicked in, you'll be able to tell with this little play symbol here, that means that the primary circulation pump in the heat pump is running. Um, you want to hold the unlock button for two seconds, press the menu button, scroll down to operation parameter and press OK. And then on page three, you will see water flow and this gives you a number in meters cubed per hour. If this is uh, below one meters cubed per hour, then essentially you're not getting enough flow. So it's really important that you are checking for restrictions in the pipework or um, on new installations. Um, if you haven't done your pipe sizing correctly, then that might be the issue that's being caused. That's the issue that's causing this. Um, but yeah, if you if you flow rate is below one meters cubed now there you've really got to be looking for what's causing that restriction in the pipe work is it a valve that's partially shut um, are the flexi hoses on the back of the unit slightly kinked and that's causing a bit of a squeeze um, but yeah if it's not that it's going to be dirt or air so just make sure you're really checking to make sure that it's um, all clean and clear so if, uh, if your flow rate is above the minimum tripping point of about one meters cubed per hour, I would then come in and check and make sure that our flow switch is all connected in properly. So if you look at the top of the PCB here at CN8 or connector eight, it is labeled FS, which stands for flow switch. It comes out here in a nice white plug, which comes round on this little white loom here to this other white connector block. And then on the other side of the white connector block, you have these brown and blue cables, which are in a um, black shielding, which comes um, up to the flow switch, which is in the top of the unit here, as you can see. So just make sure that all those connection points are all firmly in and secured. And I'm now gonna show you how to test the flow switch for continuity to make sure it's working correctly. Right, so to test your flow switch, you're going to need your multimeter on the continuity or beep setting or just measuring for resistance. Um, and what you'll see is if you put your multimeter leads across the flow switch cables, um, it should be reading an open circuit when you're not operating the paddle and then a closed circuit when, you're, when you are operating the paddle on it. And when you put the beep on, you should hear a nice solid beep. If it's cutting in and out while you've got it pressed firmly, the flow switch is no good. So if you find you're getting E8 or E0 error codes after the unit has tried to stop, um, E8 can actually also mean that the flow switch is still detecting flow when the unit thinks that the pumps should all be off. Um, so in that instance, I would turn off the hot water on the controller and kill all the heat in demand, let the unit come to a natural stop, and then make sure that the pump symbol has disappeared off the controller. Once the pump symbol has disappeared off the controller, you want to check and make sure that the circulation pump in the unit has actually stopped. Um, if it is continuing to run, then there might be something wrong with the way that it's uh, connected onto the PCB. You've got power for the pump here and the PWM control cable is here. If this cable is loose, the pump will run flat out all the time. So if this pump continues to run after you've tried to stop the heat pump, it might be that this cable is damaged or disconnected or not plugged into the board correctly. Um, if it does stop, 
um, and you still get E8 after the unit has shut down, I would then disconnect the flow switch from the um, PCB once again and then just bell it out to make sure that it's um, getting continuity. If it is getting continuity with this pump off, then I would say that the flow switch itself is also probably knackered.